everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm here at my parents' house. I brought River to a nearby museum yesterday, and that's totally fine. It's not wrecking my schedule because there's still nothing to do over at the homestead site. We don't have a foundation yet. Uh, I finally was able to talk to our primary concrete person, and they said that their parents, too, are in the hospital. So that brings the number of contractors' parents who are in the hospital now to six. Uh, you know, I, I like to take people at their word for things, but I don't know. I, maybe you guys can tell me if you're in the contracting line of work, is, is my parents are in the hospital, is that shorthand for I'm too busy and I can't take care of you right now? Because that'd be a really good excuse. You know, people aren't going to question it. They'll feel bad for you. I mean, I certainly am like, not going to harass someone whose parents are in the hospital. I just, again, I like to take people at their word, but six parents all in the hospital, it's kind of crazy. So anyway, that's where we are. Um, I was told 48 hours ago to call them today. I've got three calls in with them this morning, and I'm going to be calling every two hours today until, you know, we get some uh, forward motion on that. I have a call in with another contractor, uh, and that was yesterday, and I'm not hearing back from them either. Uh, this is another concrete con contractor, but th this is what I'm working on right now is just getting concrete in because i got nothing else left to do. I know I had mentioned earlier about maybe getting the... Uh, you know, some of the lumber delivered, but at this point we are past mud season, the roads are going to be open, we can get the lumber whenever we want, uh, unless, you know, that person dies or their parents are in, in the hospital. But at, at this point, I think I'd rather have the lumber delivered after the foundation's done, it can be right up next to it, uh, and, you know, that's going to save me time, and uh, that, that just makes sense to me. If I get the lumber delivered now, I mean, there's, it's very, very limited what I can really do with it. I could get it organized, but that's not going to take that much time. Uh, I can't really cut any of it because you really want to wait and see exactly what the size of the foundation is. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be made to a certain size, but if it's a half an inch or an inch smaller or, two, or bigger, you know, you don't want to have your boards cut in properly. So I'm going to hold off and really just focus every two hours, calls going out, and the first person that can show up and do the job gets the work at this point. I just really dislike this part of the process. I can't wait until other people are out of it because when it comes to other people or the government or whatever, you can't depend on anyone but yourself and your family. My family has been really great. My dad's going to be helping me with this and my mom's going to be, you know, you know, playing with River and stuff as much as she can. So my family has been really great. But outside of your own family, you know, nobody is going to ever prioritize your priorities to the top of their list. Although that said, the concrete person says that I'm at the top of their priority list after their parents. So, there you go. I don't know. We're getting there, though. And I've got, bup, 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 like, six more calls to make today. <laughs> All day, until we get some kind of an actual commitment of trucks actually showing up. That's it. This is what it's like. This is particularly bad, though. I mean, I was going into this kind of thing, like, like you know, my expectations were low, but damn... You've even impressed me this time. It's not, I've, I've never had it this bad before, but there's always stuff like this. Thanks for watching. See you next time.